Well, uh, this video is really long. So apparently, according to it, they said she visited her ex boyfriend for the thing the day before the wedding and got dumped mid wedding. She visited her boyfriend, her ex boyfriend, the day before her wedding to collect something. From her ex boyfriend, and the groom find found out, and uh, the groom left the wedding venue. Was it right for the groom to? Is that a proper thing? A groom supposed to do? Hmm? I think I'm, if I'm the one, I will still carry on with the wedding though. <laughs> Look, let me know exactly how you feel. If you should put yourself uh, in that guy's shoe, will you still carry on with the wedding after you discover that your wife visited her ex boyfriend yesterday for a thing? Will you still carry on with the wedding? So let me know, guys. And meanwhile, let's talk about uh, some competition in the music entertainment industry in Nigeria. So people will tell you there's no competition, but there's actually some competition. So yesterday, Whiskey was trending, and uh, was trending because of his cars, numerous cars. You know, there's this video. That's the video, guys. It shows Whiskey parking or some of his cars in the front of a building, and uh, someone took the video and posted it online, and. Everyone started commenting, calling whiskey the bachelor, and so on and so forth. You know, as Nigerians, as fans, eh, we usually rate musicians because of their belongings. We usually rate this part of the world, we rate our musicians, how rich our musicians are, with how many cars they have, how many jewelry and everything. So because someone took that video, automatically they started praising him. Presume that is the Machala. Of course, whiskey the Machala, not disrespecting him. He has money, so good and fine. And uh, the other people on the other side of our uh, defense, that is uh, David, those fans, they're not really, really quite happy. In fact, I want to particularly talk about to the head notes. To the head notes for the person who posted about this whiskey. After his Daniel bought a car. Because Daniel bought the car worth a 700 million naira just to celebrate the 10 years, uh, 10 years in the music entertainment industry and still doing it. He bought himself a Rolls Royce SUV and then he celebrated it. And because of that, people started posting. So they posted uh, whiskey cars. Then to the end, not decided to kind of like, you know, bring out the all talk out a little bit and then he posted this about David Doe. He said David Doe's few automobiles. Lamborghini Lamborghini Ultima which uh, cost about 460 million naira okay maybe which cost close to 500 million naira the Rolls Royce which cost about 550 million naira. Then, this is what I don't understand. This uh, jet, 605, 14 billion naira. Then another jet, 63 billion naira. Come on, man. That is what I want to talk about. Hmm? David, do no get jet. Let us not get his twist set. Let us not get it twisted. Hmm? Davido family get jets, but Davido do not get jets. The person who use most of who uses that jet most is Davido. Hmm? 
you are David O fan, so you are David O supporter. I'm just making this clear. There is no 40 billion Naira jet or 63 billion Naira jet posted by to the head note. Now only God know where for get that kind of uh picture for. <laughs> when he posted that uh, that uh, picture, say people blasted him too. Someone said, "This two day, this two day head note is too petty. Your own was past his dread. Now to the need for David Do remains. Those one they hide David Do head. Say David Do get two jet. David Do no get one jet. Talk more of two jet." Having a jet, I'm not saying it's not capable of buying it all, but you know, get. Remember that time he told say buy jet? Let's be honest. Now lie. Now family jet. He buy them all. No, be sorry. He no buy them on a family jet. Now he the use and pass. Based on say they fly around and he got the pace. He pay for it as well. Whenever he's flying around with it. No be for free. My guy. No gadget. Let's be honest about that. David, do no gadget. You might be angry for angry with me saying it, but it's the fact. The guy he no get jet. Yeah? He no get jet. That jet made they say David do by that time. Obio, Obio jet. Nah, nah. So as you just go waka, just go uh, color be some pictures. Maybe whenever you see the video fly private jet, automatically it belongs to him. Remember, I was, see, all those kind of talking, eh? I remember them. That time, maybe I say, we were fans of these uh, musicians. Whenever we see them with one car, automatically, nah, nah, they get that car. Even the four Rose West, they say whiskey get, I don't believe them. I can say whiskey get two, but four, the same Rose West, I don't believe them. The same Rose West SUV. I don't believe them. Why lying? I don't believe that kind of thing. I don't believe them. But I'm not, be, I'm not saying you cannot buy it all. But what is the sense behind buying something that looks exactly the same? Because you want to have one in this city, I have one in another city. Hmm? And this musician will not come out to deny or agree on anything. Like, like, they will never do it. They will never come out to deny or agree with it because it's good. They like the attention they get from it. It's good that you people are talking about it. It's very good for them that you guys are talking about it. It kind of like make them relevant. It kind of like make, put, put their names in, on people's lips. You know? The more they talk about you, the more you become so relevant. When it comes to private jet, I'm sorry to say, well, to all the David Doe's fans, David Doe will get private jet. You can argue that from now to tomorrow. But it's the OBU, number one, eh? respectfully, respected, well, with all the regards that he's getting, respectfully. But forget. You get private jet. That private jet that time will be getter. I believe in a Baba getter or family. If you use the name by now, more than five, but you'll be getter. You'll be getter. Somebody now will type say, ah, that's me. What if your consign it? No be getter. Well, my concern is that I just want to point it out to you, say, no be getter. That hype is just too much. To the end of posting two private jets, make the no be the video, say, no, I get her. all because of hype. Nah, nah, no be getter. Well, let's move past that. Let's talk about Ola Dips. Ola Dips matter don't go, you know, that stand. And though I don't know with the lies, whether he was able to revive his career. I don't know about that. But I wish him all the best, though. I hope the lies that he told over the past few days can revive his career somebody lying about his own death because he won't drop music 
Ah, waiting bad past that one. According to him, trying to explain himself, he said, I know there is cause, there is clout, and then there is truth. You thought, the reason why you post my G's alive, at the time my family was unsure of my situation, is so appealing and uncalled for. Ah, you want to blame another person? Person see you say you dare alive, you say why that person they post say you dare alive? When your family, no bad setting, say whether you will live or not. They don't really want <laughs> like this guy ain't no correct. <laughs> I did where I did struggle with my life. You did post my G's alive unnecessarily, misleading everyone. Made ah, this guy won't finish. Someone posting that you are alive, you are saying whether well, they post you there alive. That person for just allow people to wish you are RIP. Made it look like me and you just had a conversation. Bro, I went through it hard and anything could have happened. The last time me and you had any conversation was January 2nd, 2022. I get proof and soon I will tell the story in full. Because why you not they always do like this for this industry? <laughs> And to the stupid boys who post that I was eating turkey and rice, yeah. I did set ring light, even post a video of us hugging each other, making it look like I pranked Nigeria or pulled a stunt. For the record, the video he posted is two years ago. I get proof. The video was made at my house in Ochi. Ochi. Crazy things here. Yeah? I don't even live in that house no more. There was never a video or post of me telling Nigerians, hey, everyone is a prank. It was all spe uh, speculations based off on hearsay and cloud chasing. Bloggers misleading gullible Nigerians or for likes and comments, the smart ones knows how to put one and two together, so I am not bothered. I was not with my phone nor online. Or that period. I beg chairman. You didn't blame the person that posted your debt. You never addressed the person may post the debt or but they pray if they blame the person may to say they are alive. <laughs> well, a lot of matter don't pass. And I hope whatever he did then revive this career. But so far so good, I don't see any revival though. So a lot deeps. I hope your career has been revived.